The impacts of climate change uh, are felt more strongly in the tropical and South Atlantic than in, for example, the North Atlantic. So it can have a much larger impact on, on humans or society, and then may have issues related to uh, lead to migrations in the future. So given these issues, the warming and the impacts on productivity, you know, Triatlas has focused a lot on, on understanding. And one of the key things that Triatlas did is to bring together, it's a very interdisciplinary project. So it brought together physical oceanographers, climate researchers, ecosystem researchers, and, and uh, yeah, social scientists as well. And so in particular, we have been able to build an understanding of how uh, physical changes in the physical systems, so the climate and ocean stratification will impact the marine ecosystems. In this case, I would say the biggest and most urgent challenge in the Atlantic, which relates to uh, the dependence of the countries in the south more on their ocean, and then the impacts of climate change exacerbated in this region. There's a general slowing and increase in stratification of the ocean that is leading to a reduced productivity. And this is a much larger in the tropical and South Atlantic compared to, uh, for example, the North Atlantic, where the, the ocean is much less stratified. And so this is quite important, especially on the for the African side, where there's a, a larger dependence on the, on the ocean than compared, for example, Euro, the European economy. But the developments that have been initiated and contributed to by Triatlas in this region will basically continue into the future. So the SAMAC array is a, a very important uh, measuring array that will provide us more insights into how the ocean circulation is changing. And this has implications for what is happening in the north as well. Mm -hmm.